in the beginning right here when Jesus died for our sins they stripped him down out of his clothes and tied him to a pillar they spit on him they pulled his hair they beat him they beat him with canine tails and Jesus had over 10,000 angels that he could have called to end it all in just a matter of seconds. But he didn't. You know why he didn't? Because he had you on his mind. So after Jesus was beaten... And then was forced to carry his own cross to one of the most horrific ways to die on Mount Calvary. He could have given up at any moment. Them angels would have wiped this world completely out. But he didn't. He kept going, and he died for our sins. He was the ultimate sacrifice. And yes, it was God in the flesh. But you see Jesus carrying that cross and taking that beating. He did it for you. So that we could have eternal salvation. And I'll tell you right now. If you had the opportunity. To where you was getting beat. And getting nails drove through your hands. And your feet. And you had done nothing wrong. And you had a chance. To make it all go away. What would you have done? <clears throat> but as he hung up there on that cross, he had me and you and everybody in this world on his mind. And before he died, before Jesus took his last breath, he told God in heaven, that it's finished. It's finished. There is a way for me and you to accept salvation and have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's why he died on the cross for your sins. You can't be good enough to go to heaven or be bad enough to go to hell. The only thing that will send you to hell is rejecting Jesus as your personal Savior. And the only thing that will send you to heaven is having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and accepting Him as your personal Savior. God bless you all. I hope you make the right decision.